I Carly Take One. Hello YouTube, this is Fuck. Today, as promised, you know, um, I created my second iCarly laptop. Yep, here we had the number one. You already saw that in the in the in the previous videos. You liked it. I I was really surprised to see so much likes. I was like, wow, cool. So you know, um, a friend of mine on YouTube asked me, he said, Puck, can you also make something like this? Is by the way a friend from mine uh, in Groningen. So big up to my friend there from Nieuwe Schans, uh, my Groningen friend. Uh, he asked me. He said, well, can you also do the same thing under uh, Windows? So I said, well, okay, I'm, I will create a Windows iCarly laptop. And uh, yep, it's here. And I will also open her. And there you can already see it. The iCarly, uh, the pear sticker is already on it. This is a blue, a blue um, Dell Inspiron 6000. Originally, this thing has another color, some ugly gray color. I made it blue. And uh, this was also the laptop that we got. It was locked. It had no hard disk bay. It had no adapter. And in fact, uh, I made a video of how to unlock it. Became a very popular video. And then I made another video of, of how this thing can be a holographic projector. You know, uh, it's a fantastic machine. Uh, even though it's really old. <laughs> it has 2 gigabytes of RAM. It's running Windows 7 now. And I did not uh, start them up yet, so I'm gonna bring you here behind me so you can take a look at a real boot time of these two machines that I have in my collection now. In fact, they don't exist. There is no such company that is creating pair laptops. A pair is, uh, yeah, a pair laptop you should create yourself. Uh, in my previous video, you could see how to cut out the sticker and, you know, get your own little pair on the back side of your computer and uh, of course the boot up and the look and feels also must have and give this pair feeling so let's not make this talking any longer let's jump into the computer welcome back as brother and sister beside each other this is the toshiba satellite running the centrio centri having a centrino uh what is it called? Centrino Duo processor from Intel here. You cannot, of course, see it, but there it is. Oh, you were looking at the two wrong laptops. <laughs> I was having two wrong laptops in the view. So these are the two that you must look at, right? Number one and number two. Are you ready? So shall we boot them up? I don't want to see you in the view because you are a Mac. These are the pair laptops. Okay, there we go. Number one, number two. Number one has encrypted hard drive. So the number one will uh, first ask for a password. Number two is already starting up. That's the blue one. Here, there you can see it, the pair. And here we're gonna log in. As you can see, this has a little bit bigger pair than this one. And uh, yeah. So this is a boot up of the Dell Inspiron. Beautiful, beautiful uh, pair logo. And here we have number one is still starting up. That is Linux. And here we get the color pair for the login screen. So in fact, the little uh, white pair changes into a color pair. And this color pair will uh, show until we get into the login screen. Up here we are already uh, loading the desktop. And I have a little error there that has to do with my uh, toolbar here at the bottom. And I also worked on this baby. You will see that they both have the same background. Because they belong to the same family. Although this machine is running Windows. And... This one is running Linux. 
this one has a boot up sound and this one has no boot up sound okay so what is the difference between these two laptops well in fact they kind of look a little bit the same eh? so uh, if we're gonna take a look at desktop one uh, that is the Linux machine then I will have to bring you a little bit closer okay as you can see up here on top we have the little pear logo I'm really not so sure if you can see it let's see if we can get a closer look on that there we are you see that and in fact this menu we won't have in Windows of course this menu here because uh, yeah this is yeah specific and you cannot really bring that into the menu of uh, of Windows well here you can see the bottom toolbar um, yeah in fact it's not a dock I didn't want to use a dock because a dock is using more memory you see I could get a dock that would look just fine you know would give the complete Josimit look and feel but I don't want it because the dock is using memory a lot of memory and uh, you know in 17.2 we cannot change the icons up here of the apps their cells for instance uh, the sound apps and you know the apps that we want to change in there so in fact I might downgrade this machine back to uh, 17 or 17.1 but uh, yeah, here you can see kind of update of the icons that I did. I worked on the icons. They look fantastic. And uh, the button bar is really light. It, it uses kind of no memory because it's the same as the top bar. It's just the toolbar, you know. And you can pop in any icon you want into that bar. So that is really fantastic. Also, if you're opening a window, you know, the window will come at the bottom and it won't you know fill up your 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 taskbar on top you know normally they all go sit on top there and you have like 20 20 things open and the whole list on top is full making the system look awful the window system you know yeah what can i say the window system is also nice you can see the little pair that i use on top there um, it's kind of a little hard to see but I have a little pear there it looks really nice if you click it it gets green it was the best pear herb that I could find I might put it in the package for you guys if you really want to do this of course uh, I think you should do this under Linux because uh, this package in fact comes with a lot of spyware it's called the iOS 9 transformation pack or a uh, package for uh, a skin pack for Windows and uh, it's full with spyware you know if you go ahead and install that thing just hit next 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 you're gonna hate me so in fact yeah uh, i don't want to put this package uh, the link to the package because yeah in fact uh, i want to see if i can unpack the package and get the spyware out of it all the installers that you know are presenting themselves in the installer i'm gonna see if i can take that out of it and then yeah but i think yeah Maybe you guys must also learn how to, you know, not install these things. So maybe we should make a video of how to install the pack before we, you know, gonna put a link out there for you guys. But the button bar is also beautiful. Uh, in this case, I just use Rocket Dock because I had no choice, you know, to get the bar there I, in Windows. I, you know, I want it to look kind of the same as in under Linux. The systems must kind of uh, let the user feel uh, that it's that he's in the same kind of environment that while uh, these are two different operating systems you know the one is Windows and the other is Linux so yeah which one is better hmm well you know you cannot say Linux is better and Windows is better or Mac is better I think you must have all the three of them in front of you and then you have the benefits of all there is that can treat you the best. You understand? But sitting on, the one, on one system only, you know, and not being able to do certain things, that will make you feel kind of lonely. So, yeah, that's it. And these are the things that you must think of, you know. Um, yeah, as a computer user, you should never be afraid to also try other operating system. And... Yeah, I, I really love Linux Mint just because, yeah, 
I just love it. I love the company. I just love how they are. I also love Microsoft. Microsoft, you know, really, I do love them. I have friends working there and maximum respect for Microsoft. Uh, only, yeah, my machines, they don't really love Windows 10. You know, they love Windows 7 more. So that's why I'm using Windows 7. I have a uh, license uh, for my Windows 7 system. So, yeah, I love them all. And so, so should you. Well, peeps, that was it. What more can I say? iCarly laptop number two online and working just fine. But in fact, I never had to install anything on this machine. I just used the tools and made it this way. Of course, the tools for Windows will be in the description. So go ahead and download it. But I must warn you, I must really warn you, the package is full with spyware. So I'm going to see if I can, you know, remove the spyware out of it. So, you know, please wait for the link because I want to get the rubbish out of the package. And then, you know, so we only have the installer of the Steam uh, for our machine, Windows machine. Otherwise, you guys will be set up with a lot of spyware and I don't want your machine to, 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 to start scanning and do crazy things and ask you for money and spy you around because that is in fact what that thing is. You know, we can create an iCarly laptop under Windows, but in fact, it's not advised for everyone to do so because the installation package is just kind of useless. It's full with spyware and with rubbish. Really, I'm telling you, you know, if you want to create an iCarly laptop, download Linux Mint 17 or 17.1. These are LTS versions. Don't go for 17.2 because you won't be able to do the whole thing. 17.2 you can still, you know, do almost everything and also visible in the desktop. But if you really go into the system and you want to, you know, if you want your, your Banshee to have, for instance, the iTunes icon, I, for instance, you know, uh, and, and your uh, whatever, you know, having a specific icon, you cannot change that anymore in 17.2. That is what I discovered. So in fact, you know, I'm not, <sighs> yeah really satisfied about 17.2 because just I can because I cannot do that anymore so you know I might you know just make a backup of the icons and just uh, downgrade the system install 17 on the thing and you know I will have a LTS version that will work for very long time so um, yeah I think that's it and maybe if I then update it to 70.2 the icons stay the same I must still check all these things but I'm gonna let you know if you also want to build the iCarly laptop my advice is use uh, Linux Mint 17 or 17.1 if you're gonna do it on on Windows then you need a transformation pack in fact the pack is not really bad the pack is pretty good it makes your system look fine you won't have the boot screen you will need to do the boot screen with another tool you know it's called Windows 7 boot updater and in there you can choose for a static image you know choose your Apple image or your uh, peer image the one that you like and create your own iCarly laptop peeps this was it I want to thank you for watching if you think this video was nice please like subscribe and of course see you in my next video again and tell me tell me in the comments about your iCarly laptop and what you think of this beautiful project now that's all peeps thanks for watching and love to see you in my next video again please like and subscribe